This is the crook o loon Not the crook of loon But the crook o loon The crook of loon is in Cumbria But both of them sit at the banks of the river loon And the crook o loon Is three miles east of Lancaster And it sits in a bite in the river A bite is a big looping section It looks like someone's Took a bite out of it It's a place of extreme beauty Turner painted one of his landscapes here and apparently was visited by William Wordsworth to get his creative juices going and a poet called Thomas Gray described it saying every feature constitutes a perfect landscape it's home to three bridges one road bridge called the Caton Loon Bridge which was built in 1883 and it replaced the original Caton Loon Bridge that was built in 1806 that was rubbish and it fell into the water. The one they've built now is solid as a rock, made out of stone. The other two bridges are ex-railway bridges. And they used to carry the Northern Railway. Not the Great Northern Railway, just the Northern Railway. A lot less of a grand affair. But now they carry pedestrians and bimblers. But more about the railway later. The Crook Loon is supposed to be home to some fantastic wildlife if you like fishing apparently the river loon in this section is chock full of brown trout and at certain times of the year salmon bird watchers say that you can see kingfishers quite often here and apparently there's some otters living in the river so we'll have to keep our eyes peeled for those This is Halton Station and it's the second station that was built here on the Northern Railway Line not the Great Northern, just the Northern The first one burnt down a tiny little spark hit a barrel full of tinder that was used to light the boilers on the steam engines and it burnt the whole station down and the fire brigade couldn't get to it because all the bridges and all the tunnels were too tight to get any of the equipment down so they ended up passing buckets of water down the line and obviously the station burnt down the Northern Railway went all the way from Skipton in Yorkshire to Morecambe and if Blackpool was the holiday location for the mill workers of Lancashire then Morecambe was that for the mill workers of Yorkshire when the factories would close for everyone's holidays everyone would come to Morecambe in fact Alan Bennett wrote a play about it called Sunset Over the Bay where an old couple from Leeds decided they were going to retire to Morecambe where they went on all the holidays and they thought they would be happy there but they didn't realise they were in an Alan Bennett play Halton Station closed in 1966 
and the whole line was closed in 1967. It was all part of something called the Beeching Cuts. And Mr Richard Beeching wrote a report that surmised that 55% of all the stations in the UK and 30% of all the railway lines would have to close if the railways were ever going to be profitable or at least break even. He wrote a second paper called The Development of Major Railway Trunk Routes. A fascinating title. And it's thanks to him that we have the containerisation of the railways. He's definitely the patron saint of all cycle routes because all those railway lines that he closed eventually became cycle paths in the 1990s. All hail Mr Beechin. Lost along the way As sure as night designed the day As long as I'm allowed to say It's my heart that told me I don't care, you just disagree Without you it wasn't meant to be you showed me. This is the Loon Aqueduct And it takes the Lancaster Canal over the River Loon here in Lancaster and we spoke about this before. In my Preston Docks bimble, I told you there were supposed to be two aqueducts built on the Lancaster Canal. This one, the Loon Aqueduct, and another one crossing the River Ribble in Preston, which I guess would have been called the Ribble Aqueduct. But thanks to the Loon Aqueduct being £30,000 over budget, it never got built in Preston. The total cost of the Loon Aqueduct was £48,320, which in today's money would have been about £6.2 million. And it cost so much because they had so many engineering problems that they had to overcome. The designer of the Loon Aqueduct was a Mr John Rennie, and he built the Waterloo Bridge and two of the docks at Liverpool. And some of the problems he had to overcome well, how you get cement to dry underwater. He had to import volcanic ash from Italy and mix it in with the cement and that would allow the cement to cure even though it was under the waters of the River Loon. And that's not all that's under the waters of the River Loon. Giant wooden supports made from wood imported from Russia hold the whole structure of the aqueduct up. And all the engineers at the time said the wood would rot underneath the water of the loon but Mr Rennie surmised that because the wood would never be exposed to oxygen it would never rot and from 1797 till now he's been quite correct the aqueduct hasn't collapsed just yet and it's grade one listed now so it's not likely that they'll let it fall into the river loon it's 203 metres long 19 metres tall and 6 metres across and it allows lovely canal barges to head north up the Lancaster Canal I was lucky enough to bimble past in 2019 when they'd emptied it apparently there's wooden plugs in the bottom of the canal that allow it to be emptied into the River Loon and they'd emptied it out and you could see it was a semi-circular design and it looked really modern it looked like it could have been built in the 1970s 1797